Good morning and welcome back. So we're going to do another page or two. Um, I'm pretty sure we're only going to get one page done today, but um, we're going to do another page in the Thanksgiving album. Um, this is what it looks like for anybody who has missed it. It's the back up front. It's fine. I'm not sure if I'm going to put like our name on it and then like the date, like um, 2020. I'm not really sure yet, but I kind of want to, but I don't know. Maybe just the date, like 2020. I don't know. We'll figure something out. But anyway, so the next page, well, the first thing that I want to do is, um, oh, I forgot to add the card to this one. So I added cards, but I got to put them together. So all I did was cut the paper out. And we still need to put those together and put them in their little pockets because I forgot to do that while we were doing this. Or maybe I chose not to purposely. I don't really remember. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's not going to take very long at all. Um, and I am making all of the inserts out of the craft paper. Um, and I'm going to kick my trimmer because that's the thing to do. Um, er, so I put this like, it came in the paper pack, it's kind of like graph paper, um, but I put that on the back of the cards. Uh, I figured it would be easy to write on. Hello. Oh my word. Get out of the bottle. Something fell over there. I don't think it liked me shaking my glue all about. So it fell down good boom. It's still not really coming out. I don't know what's going on. I guess it's like clogged up or something. I mean, it's kind of coming out. It's enough. It's just a journaling card we're doing here. Alright, so, and I've already pre-measured everything, cut everything out, save a lot of the time, because the pages that we're doing today, or at least the first page that we're going to do today, is a little intricate, if you will. It's not just like a page in a pocket, which, I mean, none of my pages so far, just a page in a pocket. Pocket. Although I do like just regular old, you know, pages and pockets. Because I like pockets. Nothing wrong with pages and pockets. Okay. And then we put that in there, and voila. All right, so this one's going to be fun because this is, well, I'm just going to go ahead and take this off because we're working on this page today anyway. And it got so big, I needed a clip instead of a paper clip. That's all this stuff. Crazy, huh? All right, and then I also did this one here. And I just used the same paper that I used on the last card. And they're all from the same paper pad. I have not changed papers as far as the decorative scrapbook paper. Um, the only thing that isn't coming from the paper pad is like the stickers. It's not from that paper pad. Honestly, I have no idea if that paper pad even has a collection. I have no idea, to be honest with you. It was one of the hot buys that I got at Michael's a few years ago and just have never used it until now. All right, now I gotta remember what it is we're doing with this page. Because I tried to plan out two pages, that way if one 
doesn't take as long to do, then we can do the second page and hope I don't forget what I had planned for the first page. <laughs> and something else you could do with these cards to add a little bit more texture is you could round the corners of the photo mats um, or the matted part, the decorative paper. That would be really cute. All right, so we're gonna put that in there like that. Close that back up. And then we're just going to set this aside. And I'm pretty excited for this one. I think this one's going to be super cute. Um, but we might have to wait until tomorrow to do that. Possibly. Alright, let's see. Uh, this is the card. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So it can dry. Not that it really needs to dry. It's just on top. So I figured why not do it. Okay. okay. And then surprise. <laughs> They're not all with this paper. I just happened to use this paper. Um, so I like to try to use up as much of the paper as possible in one setting uh, or the one sheet of paper as possible so I'm not left with like ginormous scraps or a bunch of tiny scraps. And so I made one photo mat, I actually made this one first um, with this paper and I figured, hmm, that's really cute. Let's make a couple more. So, I did. I made a couple more. Alright, so this one's a little complicating. Um, so we're going to have two pockets here. Stay there. And it's going to go like that. And it's going to flap open. And then we've got some cards here. We can actually do those real quick and get those out of the way because the less paper that we have floating around, the less confused I'm going to get. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, these are actually off of the same piece of paper. It's just a different part. This piece here. This piece. It's just a different part of the paper. And I wanted them all the same and I'll show you why once it's all done. It'll make sense. Promise. Or at least it made sense to me. All right. So, but yeah, the the less the least amount of are the the less the less paper. Yeah, the less paper, loose paper that I have floating around, the less I'm gonna get confused and try to figure out what I'm doing and what goes where. But I remember what I'm doing here. I just hope it works. Oh, I should have filled up my water before I started this video. I didn't think about it. I've been sitting here sipping on it while I was planning out these papers or these pages, and I sipped on it until it was gone. I was like, uh -oh. that's all right, though. This one should be 
the last photo mat that we have for this particular page. Oops. As long as I don't throw it on the floor. Okay. All right. So our photo mats are done. Our little cards. Okay. Now, um, let's do this part here. This goes like that. Oh wait, I wanted to do something. I had an idea to do something. We're gonna hold off on gluing that part yet. I wanna try some, I don't know if it's gonna work, but um, you know how like when you have pockets, sometimes you use like a circle punch or something um, to indicate, hey, this is a pocket. I'm going to try something. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's going to work. But we're going to try it out. Um, this is not folded right. Which means this is not right. this is going to fold here. And that's what happens when you don't fold things right. You end up with very wrong. I don't click that. So I ended up using this box for all kinds of stuff, including holding my tools which is probably not the best idea because then they just fall down and go boom. There it is. Bloop. Normally I just reach over there, but my bone folder was being ornery. All right, so where's my thing? There it is. All right. Okay. Now flip this over and we're going to glue that down. Okay. Now I take these two pieces here and I'm going to grab a piece of washi tape. Push them together. You probably could do this before you glued them to the back of the these. All right. Just double checking. Uh, my thing is not straight. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if I could pull this one up. This one, I think, is going to be the easiest one to realign. Yeah, 
you know you want to do it. It's like the little knot paper. Oh, I was acting a joke, man. Okay, got it. Let go of my finger now. Okay, so straighten back our paper out. And. Alright. I'm going to line that up the proper way. This way, does it? You know what? I mean, it does. Yep, it does. Okay. okay. Now that that's lined up, <laughs> take your hole punch here. I'm using a two and a quarter inch EK punch, and I'm gonna punch a hole right in the middle. I hope. Aha! There we go. And now, I'll take the tape off. And hold that. Now we can glue our pocket. It's going to end up like that. Okay. But we're only going to glue the bottom. Okay. And glue the bottom of this one. One that has given us so much problems. <laughs> okay. All right. Now take this, put it here. And by the way, this whole deciding what goes on a page, designing it out, figuring it out, cutting out the papers. I've been sitting it here in my office for four hours and I came out with two pages, two layouts. That's designing it, measuring it, cutting it out and getting all the papers ready. Four hours. So Trust me when I say I am saving you guys a lot of time by having all this stuff cut out and measured and everything. All right, now I'll put this one here. Oh, we need to erase a little bit here. Oh, where is my pencil? Did my pencil get eaten by this thing? Come here, Bob. All right, and then this one I missed. There we go. This one goes here like so. Right. Let me 
make that as straight as possible. Make sure it lines up nicely. All right, now we're going to set those aside for a moment and we're going to work on this part. Um, and it's going to go this way, this way, then this way. Okay, so let's do this one first. And I'm going to line this up with the top of the paper. one. Okay, and then the last one. Now we're going to lay this down like a soap. Okay, I'm going to lay the top one first and it's going to be a pocket. And line up the second one, same thing. Another pocket. This one is going to go right here. I'm going to try to line these up where they're evenly spaced. And straight. Okay. All right. This one doesn't necessarily have to have a flap, but it happens to have one. So I apparently need magnets on my scissors. So we're going to trim the corners of this flap real quick. Alright, uh, I don't really want to do this, but I need it to be spread out all the way to the edge. Alright. Okay. And there we go. Ugh. Hey, that wasn't so bad. I guess if you peel it off while it's still wet, it does the same thing it does on paper. It just rubs right off. I'll have to remember that, which I probably won't. Alright, so now we've got 
three pockets. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add this here. Make sure it's lined up nicely. one here. Then we will put the whole page on here. It's upright. And set her down. And straighten her up because she's crooked. Okay. I think I want to put something on these little pockets right here. Let's see. Um, I don't really want anything super big. Just something little. We've got these little guys here. Fall tradition. Or family tradition. I like that one. Alright, let's do that. Um, okay. Alright, I'm going to cut it a little long. Uh, hold that bottle. And then tradition. And I'm cutting it a little long so I can have a little bit of wiggle room to try to straighten up if I don't cut it straight. Hold that bottle. Right, I'm trying to put you back. All right, so let's do there. We go, and then Family, family, and tradition. Let's make this a little straighter. Okay. Oh, 
26. Put tradition on this side. I like that. All right, so you know what I forgot to do? Forgot to mount the inside of this. I'll have those cut and um, we'll add those in tomorrow's video. But I'll measure those out and I'll cut those. Come on. There we go. All right, so we've got a card here, a card here, and hello. That one's way too far. And a card here. And I think what I want to do is add a tab or something to pull these out. Possibly. But yeah, I forgot to get the mats for this side. But this is how it stays closed. With a journaling card. Voila. I might have to use this in a different one and then make another one for this one because this one's a little too tall. I thought I cut it short enough, but I don't think I did. Because once it's all said and done, it needs to be just a little bit shorter. But that's okay because I have a lot of cards that I can use the 4x6 with. Um, like I could probably use this one. Of course, that means I'm going to have to find another one for this one, but... Uh, it's just a card that was going in the pocket, so it's not that, that big of a deal. Um, and this one actually matches. Yeah, let's do that. I like that because this one actually matches. Um, we'll put this one in here. It's not going to hurt anything. And it'll make more sense tomorrow. As long as I don't lose every single piece to this page. There's a lot of pieces on this page, too. Okay, just stay. Stay over there. All right, let's go ahead and make this real quick. Well, that ended up working out. I'll use a smaller card on this page and a bigger card on tomorrow's page. Actually ended up working really well because this is the what we have on these front pockets. You can't see me, never mind. <laughs> I'll show you in a second. So this is the same page that I used, because I just used scraps here, um, it ended up working out for the size, and there we go, perfect, look at that. So I think this is turning out quite nice, and also too, um, all of the Come here. Eh. Eh. There we go. All of the pages have pockets in between the pages, and they fit the 4x6 cards. So 
even if I still have to make a smaller one for this one, which I don't think I will. Um, I'll still need to make photos for each one of the pages, which is four, or four photo mats rather. So I'll need one here, and then one here, one for this one, and then one for this one. Because whereas there's like four technical pages, as you can see, there's a lot to do in these things because you make them interactive. That's kind of one of the reasons I absolutely love the photo albums because you make them interactive. Like, I don't know. I just, I really like the photo albums. Anyway, um, I think that's all we're gonna do today. Um, like I figured this page was gonna take a really long time and it did. So um, we're gonna do this page tomorrow. Um, so we've got, let's see, two, four down and we have do four to go. Not too bad. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're enjoying this process and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.